हेलो एवरी वन दिस इज़ दीपिका चौला फ्रॉम डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स आर यूनिवर्सिटी अहमदाबाद टूडे वी डिस्कस समथिंग अबाउट ऑपरेशन ऑन मेट्राइस सो नाउ लेट स्टार्ट विद द मेट्रिक्स एडिशन एज अर्ली लेक्चर्स वी सी दैट मेट्रिक्स इज नथिंग बट द एन अरेंजमेंट ऑफ एन एलिमेंट्स सो मेट्रिक्स एडिशन दैट मीन्स एड एलिमेंट्स करस्पॉन्डिंग एलिमेंट्स ऑफ द मैट्रिक्स so you can add or subtract matrices if they have the same dimensions that means all the matrices have the same order that means either a 2 by 2 2 by 3 or 3 by 3 that means the same number of rows and columns to do this you add or subtract the corresponding numbers numbers in the same positions for example here the dimension of this matrix is 2 by 2 that means there are two rows and two columns and the order of order or or dimension of this matrix is again a 2 by 2 that means you can add these two matrices if any of this matrix have not the same dimension you cannot add this two matrix so for addition of the this two matrices we have to add the corresponding elements that means here the first element of matrix a is minus 5 and the first element of matrix b is 6 so add minus 5 and 6 here minus 5 and 6 same way here this element is in first row second column and this element is in first row second column so add these two elements 0 plus of minus 3 here this element of matrix a is in second row first column and this element of matrix b is again in second row first column so add these two elements and this one is second row second row second column and this element in second row second column so add these two elements so minus 5 plus 6 is 1 So zero plus of minus three is minus three. Four plus two is six, and one plus three is equal to four. So this one is the addition of these two matrices. That is a plus b, and the dimension of this matrix is also a two by two. Now, when a zero matrix is added to another matrix of the same dimension. the same matrix is obtained that means if you add a null matrix to a original matrix then the answer become a that a same matrix for example let's take this one is a matrix whose dimension is 2 by 3 that means there are two rows and three column and we add the similar dimension of a null matrix that means the order of this null matrix is again a 2 by 3 so resulting matrix is the nothing but the same matrix that means 2 minus 1 3 1 0 and minus 1 and the dimension of this matrix is again a 2 by 3 now matrix subtractions again same condition is that when two matrices are subtract order must be a same same that means if this matrix has order 2 by 3 or 3 by 2 this matrix is also ordered by 2 by uh, 3 by 2 that means there are three rows and two columns so subtract corresponding elements that means 1 minus 1 2 minus of minus 1 minus 2 minus 1 and 0 minus 3 same way minus 3 minus 2 and minus 1 minus 3 so 1 minus 1 is 0 2 minus of minus 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 become plus so 2 plus 1 is 3 minus 2 minus 1 again here addition this uh, we add this two element but sign is of minus so minus 3 0 minus 3 is minus 3 minus 3 minus 2 is minus 5 and minus 1 minus 3 is minus 4 So this one is the answer of subtraction of these two matrices, and the order of this matrix is three by two. That means there are three rows and two column. Now, scalar multiplication of matrices. If we multiply by any scalar of this matrix, the answer is a scalar of this matrix here. For example, let's take this one. This one is a matrix of order two by three. that that means there are two rows and three columns if i multiply this matrix by 3 here 3 is any scalar clear so the answer is 
multiply each and every element by a scalar that means by a 3 so 3 into 1 3 into minus 2 3 into 2 3 into 0 3 into minus 1 and 3 into 3 so answer is 3 into 1 is 3 minus 2 into 3 is 6 3 into 2 is 6 3 into 0 is 0 3 into minus 1 is minus 3 and 3 into 3 is 9 so this one is a scalar matrix of matrix A that means we multiply this matrix by a constant scalar K here K is equal to 3 now next point is matrix multiplications to multiply matrices A and B look at their dimension that means if the number of columns of A does not equal to the number of rows of B then the product A into B is undefined that means if we want to multiply two matrices then the, uh, the column of first matrix is equal to the row of the second matrix here you can see that this one is one matrix whose dimension is m by n and this one is the another matrix whose dimension is n by p if we want to multiply these two matrices then the column here n is the column of first matrix and here n is the row of the second matrix this must be a same if this one is not same see here if this one is not same multiplication of these two matrices is not possible and the answer of product of that two matrices is m into p size of the product that means the dimension of the answer of that two matrices is always m by p so now let's start with the multiplication of two matrices the multiplication of matrices is easier shown than the put in the words you multiply the row of the first matrix with the first column of the second adding product that means let's take this one is one matrix whose order is 2 by 3 there are two rows and three columns and the order of this matrix is 3 by 2 there are three rows and two columns so here from a previous slide if the number of column of first matrix is number of row of the second matrix then and then we multiply these two matrices and here this one is satisfied that means the order of the number of column of this matrix is 3 and the number of rows of this matrix is again a 3 so 3 is equal to 3 so we multiply these two matrices so first we multiply across the first row down the first column adding product we put the answer in the first row first column of the answer that means here let's take this one is the first row multiply by first column so multiply corresponding elements and add the other elements so here 3 into 2 3 into 2 plus minus 2 into minus 1 minus 2 into minus 1 plus 1 into minus 3 so first row multiply by first column so 3 into 2 6 plus minus 2 into minus 1 that means 2 plus 1 into minus 3 that means minus 3 so 6 plus 2 8 plus of minus 3 that means 8 minus 3 is equal to 5 so 5 is in first row and first column of the answer of these two matrices see here the product of AB the first row first column element is 5 now we multiply first row by second column and this value we put in this first row and second column see here 3 into 4 plus minus 2 into 3 plus 1 into 1 clear so 3 into 4 is 12 plus minus 2 into 3 is minus 6 plus 1 into 1 that means 1. So 12 minus 6 that means 6 plus 1 is equal to 7. So the value of 7 that means this answer we put here that means in first row and second column. Now we multiply second row by first column. So here 0 into 2 plus 
फोर इंटू माइनस वन प्लस माइनस वन इंटू माइनस थ्री सो जीरो इंटू टू इज जीरो प्लस फोर इंटू माइनस वन इज माइनस फोर प्लस माइनस वन इंटू माइनस थ्री इज थ्री सो जीरो माइनस फोर प्लस थ्री सो माइनस फोर प्लस थ्री इज इक्वल टू माइनस वन put this value in second row first column so this one is the second row first column now we multiply second row by second column so same way multiply 0 into minus 4 plus 4 into 3 plus minus 1 into 1 so 0 into 4 is 0 plus 4 into 3 is 12 plus minus 1 into 1 is minus 1 so 0 plus 12 minus 1 plus 12 minus 1 is 11 put this value in second row second column clear so this one is the answer now notice the size of a and b and the size of the product ab here the size the dimension of this matrix is 2 by 3 two rows and three columns and the dimension of this matrix is 3 by 2 that means three col three rows and two columns so here the number of rows is equal to 2 here the number of columns is equal to 2 so the product of this two matrices is 2 by 2 that means the size of the product of ab is 2 by 2 you can see here now let's take last point adjoint of a matrix the matrix formed by taking the transpose of the cofactor matrix of a given original matrix that means to find adjoint matrix first we have to take the cofactor of each and every element then change the sign and lastly we take the transpose and this one is give the adjoint of matrix a normally it is denoted by adj adj is nothing but the adjoint and this one is matrix a for example we want to find out the adjoint of this matrix so first we have to find out the cofactor of each and every element here there are total here, uh, total nine elements so first we find out the cofactor of all these three nine elements so let's take the cofactor of this element a11 the cofactor is normally denoted by in capital letters this one is matrix a that's why we take the capital a11 this one is the cofactor of first element that means the element which comes in first row and first column so when we take the cofactor of this element eliminate this row and this column so rest of determinant of elements are 4 5 0 and 6 you can see here 4 5 0 6 and you know very well how to solve this 2 by 2 determinant so multiply this two elements 4 into 6 minus 5 into 0 5 into 0 is 0 and 4 into 6 is 24 so 24 minus 0 is 24 so cofactor of this element is 24 now let's take the cofactor of second element that means the element which in first row second column here a12 denote the cofactor of element which is in first row and second column here we take the negative sign why we take negative sign because the addition of this two numbers 2 plus 1 is 3 and 3 is odd number as we discussed earlier if there is an odd number sign become minus and if the addition is even number the sign is plus so here 2 plus 1 is equal to 3 is an odd number that's why we take the negative sign so similar way eliminate this column and this row why we eliminate this two because we want to find out this the cofactor of this element so the element which lies similar uh, which lies similar rows and columns we eliminate so rest of determinant of elements are 0 5 1 and 6 0 5 1 and 6 so 0 into 6 is 0 minus 5 into 1 is minus 5 but minus minus become plus so cofactor of this element is 5 now we want to find out the cofactor of third element that means the element which lies in first row and third column so similar way cancel out this column and this row 
so the determinant is 0 4 1 and 0 0 4 1 and 0 and the symbol or the sign is plus because the addition of these two numbers 1 plus 3 is equal to 4 which is an even number that's why we take the plus sign so 0 into 1 0 minus 4 into 1 is minus 4 so answer is minus 4 or cofactor of this element is minus 4 similar way we find out the cofactor of this element this element lies in the second row first column so addition is an odd number that's why we take negative sign so cancel out this row and this column rest of elements are 2 3 0 6 so 2 into 6 is 12 3 into 0 is 0 so 12 sign is negative so cofactor of this element is minus 12 now take second element that means row elements which lies in the second row second column so cancel out second row second column the rest of elements is 1 3 is 1 6 1 3 1 6 and 2 plus 2 answer is 4 4 is an even number that's why we take the plus sign so 6 minus 3 answer is 3 now the co find out the cofactor of this element that means elements lies in the second row third column so cancel out second row third column rest of elements are 1 2 1 0 so 1 2 1 0 here we take negative sign because addition of this two number is an odd number so 1 minus 2 minus minus become plus that's why answer is plus 2 similar way we can find out the cofactor of this element this element and this element the symbol or sign of this element is 3 plus 1 3 plus 1 is 4 4 is an even number that's why we take plus sign yeah, this element the sign of this element this element lies in third row second column so 3 plus 2 addition is 5 and 5 is an odd number that's why we take the negative sign and this element lies in the third row third column so 3 plus 3 is equal to 6 6 is an even number that's why we take plus sign so the cofactor of this elements we put in the this form so as a result the cofactor of matrix a is that means we write down the cofactor of each and every elements and last step we are taking the transpose that means first row become first column you can see here this one is first row and this is first it's become first column now second row become second column and third row become third column so this one is nothing but the adjoint of matrix a that means if you want to find out adjoint of a matrix the steps are first you have to take the cofactors second one is you have to change the signs and third factor is you have to take the transpose and last step is nothing but it is your adjoint that's it thank you